it's Mandy, and we are going to check out the Lavender Farm in Millington. Stay tuned. Exclusive behind the scenes and ice cream. They tell me there's lavender ice cream. here with Jay and he is the owner of Calico Fields and tell us a little bit about why you started farming lavender. Well we wanted to do something a little different. We didn't want to grow um, hay or corn or beans. Uh, we're a small farm so we wanted to do something a little bit unconventional and um, we also didn't want to use chemicals or pesticides and so lavender allows us to do all that without a lot of uh, chemicals and a lot of irrigation and that sort of thing. So Very nice. That's why we did it. And it looks like you have several different varieties behind us. There's about 10 different varieties out here um, and it's all used for different purposes. Uh, some is distilled down for oil, some is dried uh, and used for some of the products that we have and we've got a, a pretty extensive product line and all of it's made with the lavender that comes from here. Very cool. So the farm is open um, once a year, correct? Yeah, we ha every year right around uh, the middle of June, we have what we call Lavender Weekend, and it's this weekend. And, um, and so we open the farm up to the public. We're open other parts of the year too. Okay. Uh, on s Saturdays and Sundays, Friday, Saturdays and Sundays up through uh, middle of July. Um, and then we'll open up again around Christmas time for the holidays. So behind us, you can see his you pick patch. We've got a board here and it shows the small bunches and the large bunches and this handy dandy tool that you just take out with you and measure the size. So people are coming and adventuring out into the patch and cutting their own fresh cut lavender. And we're gonna adventure to the other side of the lavender because I see some bees and I wanna see what that's bees. about. And tell us a little bit about your bees. So we've got uh, 12 different beehives here, um, colonies rather. Um, we harvest the honey and we're big into bees here. Uh, not only do we have honey bees, but we also have a bunch of experiments going on with native bees, uh, like leaf cutter bees, uh, mason bees, and so on. And there's beehives all over the property in different spots. Very nice, very nice. So we've got lavender, we've got bees. Now we're headed over to see Duke and Daisy. So we found Duke and Daisy, and I found two other special farm friends. This is Aiden and Hannah. So tell us what you like about the lavender farm. Um, I mostly like the animals. The animals. Because I just love animals. <laughs> nice. Now, I heard that there's lavender ice cream. Have you tried it? Yeah. Is it pretty good? So that's where I'm going to head next. And what about you? What is one of your favorite things about the lavender farm? Well, since I've been here in the two days, my animals, the animals. The animals. And these two look super fun. So you've been hanging out with them? Yeah. Mm. And have you tried the ice cream? Yeah, I like the lemon. Lemon. Okay, so we're going to find the ice cream and check out what that tastes like. So we found the shade spot and the ice cream. That's right. Tell us a little bit about your ice cream. Um, well, this ice cream is all handmade from homegrown ingredients at Lockbriar Farms. Um, we have a lemon lavender um, that has lemon curd and lavender in it. And this is the briar berry lavender, which has a, a berry mixture, vanilla and lavender as well. Nice. So I'm going to give you my microphone and hold that. And I'm going to try the ice cream. All right. So let's see how this goes. Wow. <laughs> Definitely worth the wait. Checking out the lavender farms and lavender ice cream, it doesn't get any better than that. So I found my friends again on the farm and we found their little table yes. that has lavender lemonade and lavender iced tea. It looks like the iced tea may be the favorite, but tell us what's your favorite. Um, my favorite's the water with the um, lemonade in it. Oh, yeah, nice. And what about yours? I think I like the sparkling water most because unlike other sparkling waters, it actually has like a normal t lavender taste to it. Nice. So we've come inside the lavender shop. It smells like lavender. There's lavender gifts everywhere. And I have found the crew. And tell us what kind of lavender items you have here. Well, if it's made with lavender, we have it in here. Uh, we've got a variety of different things, including soaps, lip balms, lotions, uh, just about everything. Sachets, eye pillows. You name it. It's and here. And it's made with lavender here. That's right. Perfect. So as we wrap up our special edition, I want to thank Jay for allowing us to come out to his farm and check out the lavender. Thank you so much. This Thanks. has been exclusive. 
behind the scenes, I guess, of what happens about lavender. Yeah, well, thanks so much for coming out. We enjoy sharing our place with the public, and uh, it's always a great time. So Definitely. And if people want to check you out, um, you'd mentioned earlier about school groups. Where can they find you? So all they have to do is log on to our website, which is www.calicofieldslavender.com. And uh, all of our contact information is on there, along with all of our product list and everything else. So Perfect. Easy, to, easy to find. Awesome. So check them out on the page. Definitely worth a trip out here to see this gorgeous field of lavender. So we're signing out of this special edition of Around Town with Mandy. Thanks for visiting the lavender farm.